No, I'm not saying that we shouldn't ever tell Shane. I've wanted to tell him a million times since you came back into my life. And I know that he has to find out now. I know. I... Okay, well, don't make it sound like it's going to be so painful for him. He spent his whole life thinking Brody was his dad. I know that, but he just met Brody for real, like, what, three months ago. It's not like you grew up with the guy. He grew up with the idea that his dad died a hero, and then Brody came back. Can't you understand what that meant to Shane? Yes. And I know I'm not some kind of hero, but it's not like Shane hates me. No, he likes you. He likes you a lot. Well, don't you think that'll make things easier for him? Not for Brody. He's crazy about Shane. Who cares about Brody? The guy only showed up because somebody paid him. Yeah, your wife. Okay, look, this isn't getting us anywhere. Rex, you have to understand that I put everything on the line when I stood up at your wedding and I told you how I felt in front of all those people. And then you went ahead and you married Adriana. And yeah, I wish that we, we were together when Brody showed up, but we weren't. So, I mean, what was I supposed to do? I mean, I know, I know Brody has his faults. I know that. But he really has tried to clean up his act for Shane and me. Gigi, Brody knows that I'm Shane's father. He'll understand why Shane needs to know the truth. But will Shane understand? Or will our son hate me for lying to him for his whole life? You feeling better now that you've heard from her? I might have was for missing her so much. If you are, then you're looking at another wuss, because I miss her too. Wait till she hears about that test. Maybe we should hold off on telling her about that. Why? Let's keep it as a surprise. Okay, if that's what you want. What'd you get from your room? I wanted to put these pictures in my scrapbook. This is me at, right after baseball practice this year. That Rex with you? He took me. Great. I want to see the rest of the scrapbook. I made it so that you can know about my life, but... I don't really know anything about yours, except that you were a Navy SEAL and a hero. Well, I don't know about the hero part. Do you have any pictures? There wasn't a lot of time for taking pictures. Well, maybe you can just tell me. It's been ten years. That's my whole life. A lot must have happened to you in ten years. The thing about my life is, it wasn't all that interesting. You were a Navy SEAL. That had to be awesome. I thought it would be. I sort of boiled down to a bunch of guys hanging out in the desert and trying not to get killed. I still want to hear about it. Maybe some other time, okay? Okay. Here's the other picture. It is the most important one of all because it shows the best thing that ever happened to me in my entire life. You coming home. There is no way Shane is going to hate you. But I've been lying to him for his whole life. Okay, he'll understand why. And Shane knows better than anybody what a great mother you've been. We'll explain everything to him together. Okay. I know we have to tell him. I know. I want to. But we have to find the best way and... And the right time to do it. Okay. And about the other thing. Uh, what other thing? Oh. <laughs> oh, this other thing. Can you believe Mom dressed me as a lion for Halloween? How dorky is that? Oh, you look great. Not too scary, though. I don't think we should do that. You sure? We're pretty good at it. Until things get a little less complicated, I think we should, you know... Back off. Yeah, I... Got that when we got here last night and you asked to check for two rooms. 
I'm sorry that I've made such a mess out of everything. It's my fault. I shouldn't have run out on you without a word. I wonder how we would have handled it all together. We were so young. It could have been even more of a disaster. <laughs> um, I'm not so sure Shane would have turned out as well as he did if I had been in his life. Back then, I wasn't exactly the model citizen. Well, the only way we could find out is if we went back in time. Right. And we both know that's impossible. That's the messenger from the hospital. Is it about the test? Yep. It's official. Brody Lovett and Shane Morasco. Positive DNA match. Wow. Father, no. No one can ever take you away from me. <laughs>